being asked to take one final turn. Flag's been raised. And they're off from racing for the Dragon TV and Film Studios Pony Race. This 148 centimetres and under pony. Slightly slower away was Lil Ron at the back of the field at this moment. The first to show is still my girl, the Mount of Warren Fentiman from on the inside, O'Flynn's daughter and Myla Coppins. To the outside is Golden Empire and Oscar Cairns, and that's the leading trio. Back in fourth along the rail is Mag Earl and Eliza McPherson. To the outside running Keen is Grey Crow for Bruce Vaughan. Further out is Scenic Snow. Those are the leading six. Now making Making progress around the outside is Lil Ron. Further behind these is No Hassle and Harry Vigas, and the back marker at this stage is Princess Azra, but there would only be six lengths from first to last as they go down the side of the track before they take their left hand bend. It's Lil Ron leading the way by a length and a half from the king going Princess Azra on the outside. Tucked away on the inner is Still My Girl. Then comes O'Flynn's daughter, red, white, triple diamond with the blue cap. Back in fifth is the runner of Golden Empire. Then in between runners, green with white sleeves, no hassle. Along the rail is the grey, grey crow. And the back two at this stage are Scenic Snow as well as Mag Earl as they take the left handed bend, which will soon bring them into the straight. It's three and a line out in front. It's O'Flynn's daughter on the far side. In between runners is Still My Girl. To the outside, leading the way now is Lil Ron. Coming widest of all is Princess Ezra in fourth. Then on the rail in fifth is Grey Crow. Out wide then is No Hassle and pushed along behind these Golden Empire. Also coming under a drive is Mag Earl and Eliza McPherson. And the back marker at this stage is Scenic Snow with just under four furlongs left to race. To the left it's Princess Ezra. In between runners is still my girl and Warren Fensman. Over on the far side, Lil Ron is leading the way. Back in fourth, making progress is Grey Crow and Bruce Vaughan. This four have gone a few lengths on from No Hassle in fifth, then O'Flynn's daughter, Scenic Snow, Golden Empire and Mad Girl as they approach the final furlong and a half. Two out in front. The far side is Lil Ron. The near side is Princess Ezra who's moved the length and a half clear. Back in third is still my girl. Bruce Vaughan, Grey Crow in fourth. They've gone a long way clear of fifth with just under a furlong left to race. It's Princess Ezra out in front, drifting to the far side. Lil Ron is second. Third is still my girl with just under half a furlong left to race. It's still Hamish McGregor and Princess Ezra four lengths clear of Lil Ron in second. Still my girl in third, but as they head towards the line, it's Princess Ezra to win the Dragon TV and Film Studios pony race from Lil Ron in second. Still my girl was third. Grey Crow was fourth. Scenic Snow, no hassle. Oakley sort of my girl and gold at Empire, the final one's home. The outcome of the pony race is first, number eight, Princess Azra. Second, number four. Third, number 11. And the fourth place pony, number five. The provisional result of the Dragon TV and Film Studios pony race for ponies, 148 centimeters and under. First, number eight, Princess Azra. Second, number four, Lil Rom. Third, number 11, Steal My Girl. And the fourth place horse, pony number five, Grey Crow. The distances were two and a half lengths and one and a half lengths, two and a half lengths and one and a half lengths. The official hand start time of the winning pony was two minutes, 22.95 seconds. Two minutes, 22.95 seconds.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, come and join us in the winner's enclosure because the winner of the Dragon TV and Film Studios Pony Race is about to come into the coveted number one spot 